everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another NAMG Let's Play of Danganronpa V3. When we left off, we were still in the prologue, and my battery apparently can only last close to an hour and a half before it starts dying, so an hour may be my limit for each episode. I was trying to finish each chapter, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Regardless, we were just discovering the fact that there's a huge freaking wall enveloping this school, and um, as you can tell here, Shuichi Saihara is a little bit surprised by the fact that nobody will be able to hear us. So, let's get some clarification on that. Thanks, Monodum. <laughs> Say something. One of you, just answer. <sighs> Monodum is ignoring them excellently, because he refuses to open his heart. You can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Shut up! We're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. W what is this? You things, this school, what is all this? You bastards will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find out that for yourselves. But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building the school? I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the Exosols on autopilot. Exosols? Once part of the biker gang, the Exosols now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Seriously, knock it off you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. Okay, bye. And there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, Shuichi. Let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head, just firm enough to get his attention. Oh, no poking this time? Ow! Shuichi, I'm not that great at motivating others, clearly. But we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually. Somehow. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Somebody down here. Hello? Jeez. How'd they even make this big wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then... What? Are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumbling or it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Uh, the universe? Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. Okay, cool. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take the exam? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Uh, That's illegal. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was pretty deep in it. 
But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I ace the exam too. Th that's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way can I wait until after college. I gotta get the space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. So, do you have any ideas? Nope. Th that's not the problem. Um, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Alright, so Kaito. Very nice. What is that behind you, though? This. What are these? Oh, well, I guess we don't get any clarification. So, dormitory... Anybody else out here? This place is huge. Oh, it's huge. Maybe I should go to the dorms. I don't know. Oh, here's somebody else. Whoa. This guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um... Excuse me. Huh? Why, thank you? Huh? Thank you. Oh, sorry for scaring. Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, right. Gonta need to make introduction. He doesn't sound as doofy in the Japanese voice. Yeah, he speaks pretty normally in Japanese. I don't know. I don't know why they did that then. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being scared at first. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry. That's not what I... No, it's okay. Gonta's used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. I don't like how they make him, like, talk like Hulk almost. So kid Gonta play alone, that how Gonta come to like bugs. But when Gonta really focused, it's easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs and end up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, it took 10 years though. 10 years? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. I, I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Oh, not people. Wolves. Wolves? But they are really nice. Because of Forest Family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gonta wanted to show Forest Family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? Because he's not wild and rabid? This place is strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable there are no animals, but no insects. That's strange. Not even one bug. You like bugs too? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, no, 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 I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Did you hate bugs? What? You, you hate bugs? Uh, um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Okay, that good. No bad person likes bugs. Okay, Gonta. B bit passionate, but that's okay. Don't step on like any ants or anything in front of them though. That was scary. Phew, yeah. I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. That passion may end up being a trap for you, though, buddy. You gotta be careful. Hello? Uh, 
Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one, but why is it here? Seriously, there's so many odd things. Okay. Um, what's over here? A cage, I guess? A, a cage? A cage within a cage? Shrine of Judgment. Oh! It's actually really pretty. Yaha! How are ya? Okay. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy, considering the situation we're in right now. Oh, you don't even know the half of it, girl. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So says Atua. A Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's clearly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Mm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua's the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Yeah, <laughs> how divine! I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course! In return, will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning in my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I mean just a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry? Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. What about you then? Huh? Me? Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on, it won't hurt one bit. Uh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Don't run away. This this girl is so weird. Oh, nice to meet you. All right, so anything else? Shoot you what you got, buddy. This place is in much better shape than the school. Is someone taking care of it? You know what kind of bothers me about Shuichi? It's like he's the, the ultimate detective, right? And we had Kitty Giddy in the original Danganronpa who was also our ultimate detective. So the fact that he's investigating with us gives us a false sense of security. And I think that's bad. I think bad things are going to happen to Shuichi. I don't like it, but I just, that's what I think is going to happen. I'm just throwing my thoughts out there. You know how it is. Okay, so we need to go back this way and I guess check out the dorms. Let's see, anything over here? No. All right, let's go to the dorms and see what's going on. This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Oh, them again. Why, hello, Bear. Sorry to intrude. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? Because this is your home, you bastards. We finished setting up the showers. Now you can go pee. Why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? Even for number two? Wait, do you know number two in the shower? Ew, that's gross. That's it? Why are you here? Why did you come here? What do you mean, our home? They mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Hello, lady! I failed to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? If they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go through all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Oh, sorry, pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. 
私は超高校級のメイド当時のキルミよ困ったことがあったらいつでも言ってね OK thanks Why is there a spider web on your apron? Huh, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh,、uh, wait, wait! I've heard of Kirimi Tojo. An ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect, she can complete any request given to her. What? She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request, request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own.、ね、I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to suffer foreign dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you've been hired to do so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on. What do you intend to do now? That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? What would you do, Kirimi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the wishes of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for the others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Is that everybody? I think it is. Was that the bell? Kaida, look! The monitor! Okay, thanks for bearing with us. Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew, we finally finished our preparations. You do realize you just read our lines backwards, don't you? Okay. Gym? Opening ceremony? Kaida, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Uh, hang on, let's talk to him first before we leave here. There are drawings hung up on each door, maybe in place of nameplates. Why go through the trouble to do this? What are they planning? Is that my room? It's so cute. I don't plan on,、uh, plan on being here long enough to need a room. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, So they're finally gonna explain the killing game. It's about time, isn't it? Alright, where was the gym? Let's see, this way? I think it's downstairs though. Pretty sure. Um, That's the basement. I don't want to go down to the basement. So, where's the gym? Last time I went there, I was being chased by a freaking Metal Gear. So, I don't 100% remember. Okay, we need to go to. Okay, so not that way. Um, bathroom. I'm so glad she doesn't run out of stamina. <laughs> so many other games where they do. Okay, so not that way either. So it is on this floor. I just need to actually spot it. That's the classroom. Uh. I'm not used to the school layout yet, and it's kind of throwing me off. Where? I know this place isn't this tiny. Can I get a bigger map? Or no? There has to be a way, right? Oh, I hit share. I thought that was select, but select doesn't exist in this world. 
Um, okay, so that's the warehouse. I'm sure this is super weird. Okay, so I need to go this way. And then this way. Then over here. Here we go. This is the way I need to go. I never went this way. All right. So, can I go in here? The store, or no? All right, fine, we'll check out the store later. To the gym it is! Boom, did it. Okay. All 16 of us have gathered. Hmm. Pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. You may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Tsumugi stopped thinking. Uh, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Okay. What? What are you looking at? Um, Himiko, you can use your amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. Oh, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Talking about it's too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. There's no reason to worry. A tool will protect us. Phew, that's a relief. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that school of yours. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Those teddy bears show themselves again? Kick their butts. Huh? What's that? Hmm? What's wrong? Listen, you hear that? Uh, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Oh, they're back, huh? Why this again, though? I thought you didn't want to do this. Everyone behind Gonta! What the heck are these monsters? So cool! They're Exos, highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. They got lots of hometown pride, too. I can't keep track of these backstories. But whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Run, Himiko! Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Huh? Didn't someone say they would kick their butts? Aww. What the hell? Nobody told me about these! Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the Exosols. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what these guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? <laughs> well, aren't you a wise guy? I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you idiots to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm going to say it. You ready? Hell yeah! It's a... Mon Monodam, really? Now you speak? What? M -m Monodam! How dare you upstage me? W wait a second. What did you say? If I heard him correctly. Oh, he said it again. Ugh, Monodam, we're gonna crush you with this here exosol. Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here exosol. You too, Monotaro. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you with this here exosol. Hey, why are you including me? Ah, well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. 
You want to go, Jabroni? Who are you calling Jabroni? <laughs> oh, okay. They're talking. They're just not saying Jabroni, of course, because that word doesn't exist in Japanese. Yeah. All right. Okay. この状況でまだ見守ってるだけ。とにかく危険です。このままでは僕らも巻き添えに。うん。可愛い我が子たちを。Uh-oh. Is it time? Is it time for the big boss? Father, father, is that you? Papa Kuma, Papa Kuma. Daddy, where are you, Daddy? D Daddy? At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Boom! Oh, with some angel wings! Very beautiful. Oh, they're gone now. Father's here! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma! That is so cool! My little cubs, you're also freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're also cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are too cute. No, don't! My battery died! In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. Yeah, he's mad. But Daddy is still cool even when he's angry. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that gets way cooler as they get angrier. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally, Super Monokuma 4. Okay. Is this a Dragon Ball Super reference? It's definitely a Dragon Ball Super. Actually, I'm wearing my Dragon Ball. I'm wearing my Dragon Ball Super shirt. Wow, I didn't even know this was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, the Battle of the Gods. All right. Anyway, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. I can't think of any though. Okay. Alright. What is happening? I love embracing my children. They're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, the ratings are through the roof, all thanks to the cute Mono Cubs. Ooh, what is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around inside that cursed thing. Whoa. First of all, I'm no teddy bear. 
I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI, like me. Wow, did you say dong dong dong? Because uh, it's pretty close to what they said in the Japanese. Because it should be ping pong, which is like ding ding, but dong dong is, yeah. It pretty much works, actually. The Exosils are different, though. They're brainless bucket of bolts. They're mindless, petty, uh, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocups. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms is certainly turning into quite the story. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? I haven't heard that laugh in a while. Although it is a different voice actress now. Um, it's the same lady as somebody else who's been in the Danganronpa franchise, but yeah, the original lady who did the voice, unfortunately, is getting up there in age and wasn't able to perform uh, to be Monokuma, which is really sad, but it's okay. She... she performed excellently in the other two games. What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just, when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in the killing game. The killing game? Us. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in the killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Of course not. Gentlemen not hurt people. But if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the Exosils, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So, do what you say, and if we don't want to die. You, you gotta be kidding me. Why would friends kill each other? Who said you guys were friends? You guys aren't friends at all. Your enemies out to kill each other. Uh, enemies? W we're enemies. Hmm. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking about bugging the uh, all this talk is bugging the crap out of me. I'm gonna go beat up Monodug to relieve some stress. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of the killing game, could we do a paper, rock, scissors tournament? Who would want to play a game where no one dies? Well, you do have the compassionate personality. It's so cute I can barely stand it. Why? It's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Huh? Hey, Monophony. You might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Boy. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. Mm. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? <laughs> what are you asking? We don't need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Don't know. Weapons? Huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The killing game is quite refined. Sophisticated experience. Huh? Sophisticated experience? So, so. Yes. Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. <sighs> class trials? Hi. Okay, let us explain. Mm -hmm. You've got quite the accent, Monosuke. この学級裁判の場で黒は誰かを貴様らに議論してもらうんだよ。で、その後の投票タイムで多数決によって導き出された答えが正解だった場合は。
残った他のメンバーで共同生活を続けるっちゅうわけやただしもし学級裁判で間違った人物を黒に選んでしまった場合は罪を逃れた黒だけが残っ,て、yeah, so、残った白全員がお仕置きされてしまうんだよ Ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone, you also have to survive the class trial. Kill without being caught. And then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Simply put, it's an execution. <laughs> execution? <laughs> True. Ooh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff gives me a raging boner. What? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? <laughs> yeah, I'm so hard right now. Blood, guts, the brain. Okay, she actually puked. Whoa, Monophony just puked. So freaking hard. Huh? Puke gives you a boner too? You kids are just adorable. What the hell's cute about that? Alright, I'm over all this boring exposition. Oh god, let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already! Wow! Killing school semester. It's like a game. Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. Hey! Can, how can you degenerates be so calm? This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie? More like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I'd, I'd never do that. Well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. What? Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Wait a minute. Huh? No matter what you say, we won't do it. We'll never participate in a killing game. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Kaida, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old! It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. Well then. 
We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. 16 ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play a killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Ah, now we get the intro! I mean, we already had one, but this introduces all the characters for this game, right? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, it's all starting all over again. I wonder what kind of tricks they got planned, though. You know? I'm really curious. I really want to know what his ultimate ability is, too. What if it's like the ultimate prison warden? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, all of these people. It's, it's going to be interesting because it's like, how are they going to be as characters? How are they going to be killing people? What type of punishment are they going to get when they do kill people? I don't know. Because they're juveniles, right? Which means they've all committed a crime. But the tennis guy is the only one that actually remembers committing a crime. But everybody else may have done something terrible, too. Oh, little chibis! I like it. Oh, man. Oh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Danganronpa V3. That was a really long prologue, though, seriously. It's okay. Okay, so it still says Ultimate Revival. Oh, okay, so that was the name of the prologue. Got it. Obtained present, uh, Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles badge, okay? Yes, I would love to save. Wait, did I just hit no? I think I hit no. I haven't saved since the beginning of this episode. After Monokuma and the Monocubs left, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of the foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, the surviving students must participate in class trial. If the Black End is exposed during class, uh, they alone will be executed. If the Black End is not exposed, all the remaining students will be executed. If the Black End survives a class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two, sur two surviving students remain. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items, please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate the rules will immediately be exterminated by the Exosuits. It didn't say we couldn't attack the Monocubs, though, just Monokuma himself. The Headmaster may add new regulations to the list at any time. Chapter 1 My Class Trial? Is that what it's... I don't know where the Mai was supposed to go. Hmm. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations. So these are the rules. I do not understand why someone would 
force us to do this. But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. That's not the problem. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Hey, hey, what does the six regulation mean? Yeah, just two? It is weird. Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. You're so smart, Shuichi. Quit screwing around. Killing game? School regulations? The hell with that crap! Who'd go along with something like that? Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Whoa, hey now. Don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, the exosols will dispose of you. Huh? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. Yeah. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. <laughs> Forget about him. Just means one less idiot for the world to deal with. <laughs> Who you calling an idiot? I took a deep breath, then shouted with all my might. <laughs> Quit fighting already! <laughs> whoa, 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 what the? <laughs> we shouldn't be fighting against ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. <laughs> she opens military, military polonaise would definitely help unite us. <laughs> yeah, I could get behind some bologna, and then I don't even like meat or tomatoes. <laughs> I agree with Kaida too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me the strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Uh, anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Uh, wow, you're shaking so much. I can't even handle the intense vibrations and trust me, I've got loads of experience. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But we looked all over that wall and there wasn't a single hole. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how do we get inside these walls in the first place? Huh? Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Uh -huh. So let's show them that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're not gonna work. Uh, we're gonna work together. We're not gonna work together. That would be bad. I mean, it's gonna happen, but yeah. Eto. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? E. On the contrary, you made your case with such a succinct, succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Ah, <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Oh, you're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. What a Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Oh, Atua give us strength. I must admit, I admire your spirit. I don't know. Oh, wait. Huh? Yeah? What is it? We were just about to get started. Um, maybe it doesn't matter much, but... Going to find a manhole earlier, in the grass, behind the school building. <gasps> a manhole? Going to peek in, see big underground passage, think maybe an exit. Sorry, it's probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. <laughs> Go to Pekin. See underground big passage. Think maybe exit. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. <laughs> the boiler's behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. <laughs> Everyone, follow Gonta. Okay. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Kaida, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? What was? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. L looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart is all. So, it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. What? I was just thinking. What you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. They're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm just worried about you. You're so straightforward. 
Interesting. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. Eh, perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think anyway. Being strong-willed could get you in a lot of trouble around here. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. It's fine. You said that only because you're worried, aren't you? Yeah, but Antaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Uh, you're right. Okay, let's talk to him again. We should probably waste, uh, shouldn't probably waste our time thinking about things like that. Let's catch up with the others. Got it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so how do I bring up the monopad? I forgot already. Is that it? There we go. I need to save really, really badly. Review your personal belongings. Okay. Save. Please let me save. I haven't saved since the beginning of this episode. Like, last time ended, I didn't save before that. So yeah, it was gonna be bad. Okay, so what's this? What do I got? A nail brush? Okay. With this, anyone can make their nails sparkle like magic. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Interesting. Okay, and this is... The badge. Apparently only 16 of these in the world, huh? Of course. Alrighty, so we need to go outside. What is this? Like mahjong? It says ancient passport. I wonder if it means anything. That's weird. Huh. All right, Gonta, where'd you go? Here we go. We need to head on outside. Boom! I think he's out this way, right? It's the only outside I know of. Hi. Are you, are you building a statue or something? So where was this manhole? What is this? Looks like a castle gate. What's past here? Yeah, that's weird. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. I wonder if they're gonna open new areas as we progress. Probably, that's what is all about. But, I don't know what that castle is. Mysterious monument, okay. What a weird monument. Why is this here? No idea. I wonder where that door leads to. I don't think it's an exit, but it bothers me. Another, no, that's nothing. Okay. Um, where is everybody? Backyard, okay. This is probably good. Boiler room, there we go. Looks like we're all here. So, where's this manhole? Um, over there in the grass. Should I talk to everybody? Or should I just... I want to look at the manhole. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar. Am I right, ladies? Oh, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? I can try. Keep up place his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength he- What if his arms just broke off? How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? A robot's not even strong enough to move it? Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is appro approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. Th that's pathetic. The professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during the trial production. Um... Now I'm just playing curious what happened during that trial. Oh, then allow Gonta. Gonta will live cover before peek inside. She'll be able to pick up cover too. 
Don't have placed his hands on the manhole cover and. It's like a penny. Upsy daisy. <laughs> Of course. Of course it is. Tenko, really? Yeah, he's speaking in completely normal Japanese. Well, nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover. Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. It irks me that they make him sound like the Hulk. Like, seriously, I get it. It's a localization thing, but hearing him in Japanese and seeing what dialogue they gave him bugs me so much. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> what wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. <laughs> How ungentlemanly. Gonta would never do that. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air dripping up from it. This place is kind of creepy. We're really going in there? Oh! I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Then Gonta protect the menfolk. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Monu cubs? I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten nuts. They probably haven't noticed yet. Now let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Something's down here. Once we had all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yahoo! Nanano. -na -na. What is this place? So, yeah. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Oh. And this is all that's left of it. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Uh, considerate? You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> don't piece yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. Uh, yeah. No need to worry. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Yeah. You're right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. Um, no. Typical degenerate behavior. You're trying to trick her into pressing your boobs against you. I mean, that's a hug. You can't really not have that happen if a girl has boobs. An underground passage has not been in use for some time. Must be quite dangerous. But if everyone wishes to proceed, then I will do my best to support that decision. All right. Yield's gonna. Even if this is a trap, we need all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'd be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. Kibo, what you got, buddy? Mm. It's quite dusty in here. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air may be detrimental to one's health. Yeah. What? Polluted air bothers you? But you don't even breathe there, right? Well, well, that is. While it's true that I do not breathe, I also do not like polluted air any more than you do. Okay. Oh, I see. You have a function for sensing poisonous gases. Well then, lead the way. No, no, I do not have that function. Do I look like a canary to you? What? You don't? Then you're even more useless than the canary. Aw, poor Kibo. 
When Kokichi yodeled earlier, his echoes reminded me of tales in old mountain villages. They believe that voices echoing off the mountains are replies from Yamabiko, the spirit. Ah, this may take too long. I shall save the rest for after we have safely escaped. Uh, it's dark in here. If we're gonna keep going, we need a light. Uh, then shouldn't you use magic to light it up? You know, like Lumos or something. We should be fine without light. Magic power is precious. I need to save it for when we really need it. Uh, um, okay. Apparently. If we're going, let's hurry up already. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. True that? I just want to see what everyone has to say. What's up? You gonna give me that hug after all? Mm -hmm. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, you don't gotta hold back. We're two of a kind, you know. Oi. Hey, you two, quit flirting. Can't you read the air? We're not flirting. You guys are annoying. Oh, poor Kaida. Don't worry, if something happens, I'll protect the girls by using all the de degenerate males as human shields. Thanks? You're still yodeling? Ooh, and that goes well. Must be pretty big then. A giant underground passage is so exciting. I want to play hide and seek in here. Hide and seek? <laughs> I am the master of hide and seek. As the supreme leader of an evil organization, I'm always on the run from the law. And over time, I just become a total pro at hiding. Just kidding, that was a lie. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, a few more people to go through and then we may end this episode. Well, we gotta keep trying. Nothing's gonna change if we don't try. Shuji, what you got? What you gotta say, buddy? Uh, if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Gonta? So it was exit. Gonta glad he tell everyone. Come on, everyone. Gonta protect you. It's not an exit. It's definitely not. We're going to escape from the underground passage. We should be careful of dangerous creatures. Does anyone have their protect gear? Just kidding. It was just a joke. Besides, something worse might show up. You're amazingly strong, Gonta. I want a piggyback ride. <laughs> okay, in Mew, of course. You're too weak, Kibo. Let me remodel you and I'll make you the strongest robot ever. First, I'll soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one. Just how I like it. She's overcompensating, I think, but whatever. Um, okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. Um, because my battery is probably gonna die very, very soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and save, and then we will go through the exit sign or the exit area next time. So hopefully you guys look forward to that. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.